Loomly Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Loomly. Loomly is a powerful tool designed to simplify and enhance your social media management. It is an easy-to-use social media management platform that helps you create and schedule content for various social media networks. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up your Loomly account and create your first calendars. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Loomly, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, you will find an option to enter your email address. Input your email address and click on the Get Started button. After clicking the Get Started button, you will be directed to another page. On this page, you need to provide your first name, last name, create a strong password, and confirm the password. Once you have entered this information, click on the Sign Up button to proceed. Once you have successfully signed up, you will be taken to another page. Here, you will need to enter your company name, specify your company name, and select the appropriate account time zone. After entering these details, click on the Save button to proceed. At this point, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to create a new calendar. If you want to create a new calendar, click on the Create a Calendar button within the pop-up window. This will take you to a page where you can set up your calendar according to your preferences. However, if you don't want to create a new calendar, simply click on the cross button next to the Create a New Calendar title to exit the calendar creation process. Once you've made your choice, you will be redirected to your account dashboard. When you access the dashboard in Loomly, you will immediately notice that it provides you with a comprehensive overview of your account. The dashboard is organized into various cards, each representing a specific task or area of activity within the platform. One of the cards you will see is the Calendar card. This card allows you to create new calendars to organize your content. Once you have created calendars, they will be displayed within this card, providing you with easy access to manage and navigate through them. The Post Overview card is another important component of the dashboard. It offers you a summary of your posts, categorizing them into different stages such as drafts, pending approval, requires edits, approved, scheduled, published, passed, and failed. This card gives you a quick glance at the status of your posts and helps you track their progress through the publishing process. The On the Radar card is designed to provide you with an overview of the post you have added for a specific date. It allows you to keep track of upcoming content and ensure that you have a clear picture of what is scheduled for publishing on any given day. Additionally, the dashboard features cards like Post Ideas, Quick Links, and Hot on the Loomly blog. These cards offer you convenient access to valuable resources and information that can assist you in generating ideas for your posts, accessing useful links, and staying updated with the latest trends and tips from the Loomly blog. Now, let's see how to create a calendar in Loomly. Creating a calendar in Loomly is a straightforward process that allows you to organize all your social media content effectively. With a calendar, you can consolidate social media accounts from various platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Business Profile, Snapchat, and TikTok into one centralized location. To begin creating a calendar in Loomly, navigate to the Calendars tab within the platform. Once you're on the Calendars page, you will find a plus Add New Calendar button. Click on this button to initiate the calendar creation process. Upon clicking, you will be redirected to another page where you can provide the necessary details to set up your calendar. On this page, you have the option to add a logo image to your calendar. By clicking on Add Logo Image, you can upload a logo from your computer to customize your calendar. Next, enter the name of your calendar in the designated Calendar Name field. Additionally, choose the appropriate calendar time zone and select the industry or brand category that corresponds to the content you will be managing within this calendar. Once you have entered this information, click on the Create Calendar and Continue button to proceed to the next step. In the subsequent step, you will need to connect your social media accounts to the calendar. On this page, you will find different social media platforms listed, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and more. You can select the platforms relevant to your social media presence and click on the respective connect buttons to establish the connection between Loomly and your accounts. For instance, if you want to connect your Twitter account, you would click on the connect button associated with Twitter. Upon clicking the connect button, you will be directed to another page where you need to authorize Loomly to access your social media account. To do this, enter the username and password of your Twitter account. 
Once you have entered this information, click on the Authorize App button. By doing so, your Twitter account will be successfully connected to your Loomly calendar, enabling seamless integration and management. If you prefer not to connect your social media platforms at that moment, you have the option to skip this setup and proceed with the calendar creation process. You can simply click on the Next button to continue setting up your calendar and connect your social platforms at a later time. In the next step of the setup process, you have the opportunity to define your calendar workflow. As you scroll down the page, you will encounter different workflows to choose from. Take your time to select the workflow that best suits your needs and preferences. Once you have made your selection, click on the Select button next to the chosen workflow. However, if you prefer to skip this step, you can click on the Next button to proceed without setting up a specific workflow at this time. After setting up the calendar workflow, the next step involves configuring your post idea preferences. To do this, enter the name of the post idea in the RSS feed URL field and click on the Add button. Loomly has the capability to fetch entries from your RSS feeds and present them as post ideas or even automatically create draft posts. Once you have added the desired post ideas, click on Save RSS Feeds and then proceed to the next step by clicking on Next. However, if you prefer to skip this step, you can simply click on the Next button to move on. In the final step of creating a new calendar, you have the option to invite collaborators to join and contribute to the calendar. To invite collaborators, enter their email addresses and select their respective roles. You can add as many collaborators as needed. Once you added the collaborators, click on Send to invite them. A confirmation message will appear on the screen confirming that the invitations have been sent. On the other hand, if you do not wish to invite collaborators at this time, you can click on Finish to skip this step and complete the process. Once you have successfully created your calendar, you will be taken to the calendar view. In this view, you can proceed to set up specific post details, select the desired social media channels for each post, define generic content that can be reused, fine-tune settings for each channel, and create individual posts. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Loomly. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.